Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. We're going to watch the second half of men's soccer, Adam Smith's Road to Recovery. During the time Adam was out, um, the following season, he redshirted because obviously he was not going to be able to be fit enough to play. We took him with us to every game to keep him associated, keep him part of the team. Um, he was doing his own rehab at the time, uh, but I felt that this would keep him involved with the guys and keep him keep his spirits up as well. Again, with being you know his family on the other side of the world in New Zealand, um, and then obviously as we built him back up uh, gradually and you know got him back in training. Um, it was really January of. 2013 that he started getting further and further into training um, and then we kind of introduced him slowly into some of the exercises we were doing and eventually it was around March of uh, 2013 where he was in full contact training and then I think he played his first game for us later in March in, in 2013 so the recovery period was almost exactly a year till he was he was fully back. Top-notch guys people that are coming off the of start and they're you know senior seasons things like that um, they don't want to hear that you know you have to slow them down even more they want to be able to get back into things as quickly as possible so um, not only is it physically grueling um, mentally it's it's one of the hardest thing an athlete will have to do um, from my from my perspective it's one of the toughest injuries that you'll see you know as an athletic trainer or as an athlete just because Mentally, you have to keep yourself in it for so long, but not be able to compete. And just to be able to mentally stay in it, and psychologically stay, stay strong, I think that says a lot about you know the athlete and uh, how much they're willing to do for you know for their sport and for what they love, really. After the the spring season finished, you know Adam went home. Uh, he played in New Zealand for a period of time over the summer, uh, but was in, smart with intelligent with uh, how many games that he played. And then when he did come back in the fall. Uh, he was fully ready to go. Uh, we've had to adjust his training regime because he's still got certain pressure on his leg uh, that he's going to have to have surgery um, after our season. So what he does is he trains and then he'll take a day off. And so in between games also, there's certain games he'll, he'll, uh, he won't train before. Uh, so again, we've had to adjust his regime, which uh, is, you know allowed him to be involved as much as possible but still not a hundred percent in everything that we do you know during this time it's obviously again was very difficult for adam uh, during this period but we also try and sh take the time during this period to show the athletes the the person that we care more about them than than you know we do about them just winning games obviously we, we want to be successful but uh, when something like this happens it kind of puts things in perspective that uh, it's just a game and uh, you know to be honest, his his career could have been ended through this, but he's uh, he's come back strongly and he's come back um, a stronger person, and I'm sure it will just benefit him uh, with the perspective that he's going to gain from going through something as, as negative as this. Yeah, sometimes before the injury, uh, sometimes so soccer was a bit of, you know a bit more of a job. Sometimes it felt a bit more of a chore. You know, you you come out after a long day at school and you think, oh man, like you know, it's we've got to practice and. You know, still you're feeling tired and that, but now I've got a completely different outlook. Like, you know, all I want to do is is play. Um, you know, I enjoy it. I'm not taking it for granted ever again. Not even, you know, obviously I had to learn to walk again. Never mind, just play soccer. So, you know, it was a it was an awakening for me that um, you know I'm very lucky and I've got given a second chance to play. So, um, it definitely changed changed my outlook. And um, you know, I appreciate all the help I was given. Um, you know, I've never, you know, the team, the team helped me so much through it and the coaches. So again, yeah, it's, it's definitely changed a lot, yeah. And when we come back, we're going to watch a segment on the Braves Club. So stay tuned. Each year. Each year. Each year. Hundreds of student athletes come to UNC Pembroke. Not just for the quality of education, but to compete successfully in college athletics. Conference champions, All Americans, community leaders, 
national champions. Valedictorians. Graduates. But these achievements are in jeopardy. None of it would be possible without your support. We need you to be a part of our team and support our Braves Club annual fund. Help our student athletes to continue to exceed expectations. Strive for competitive greatness and develop into successful adults. Join our team. Join our team. Join our team. Join our team today. Go Braves.